Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Rishi Labs. In today's video, we will see how to run Python code in VS Code application. To run Python code in VS Code application, it's a three-step process for this. First, we'll install a Python on Windows. Then we are going to install a VS Code application. And third, we'll require to install Python plugin in VS Code. So let's get started. I'll make use of Google Chrome to download Python. In the search bar, you need to type Python, download, and press enter. You'll see the first official link, download Python. Click on it. You'll see the download Python button. Click on it. In the downloads, you can see it has downloaded the Python setup. It's a 64-bit version. Then click on open. I'll close, I'll minimize this web browser. Okay. Now over here, you need to check this add python.exe to path. Then also check this use admin privileges when installing py.exe. Then click on install now. You'll get a pop up select yes. On the pop-up screen, you need to select yes. This will start your Python installation. Then on this screen, you need to select disable path length limit. You'll get a pop-up again. Select yes. Okay, so you can see setup was successful. So Python setup is done. I'll close this. Okay. In the notepad, we have completed our first step that is installation of Python. So to check if Python is installed properly and it's working, you need to click on Windows and type CMD. Okay, and run as administrator. You'll get a pop up. Yes. Okay. In the CMD, you need to type Python hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. So you can see Python 3.13.0 version is installed and it is working fine. Okay. So we'll close this CMD screen. Now we'll move to the next step that is installation of VS Code. So to do that, I'll go back to the browser. In the search bar, you need to type VS Code, download, and press enter. You'll get the first link code.visualstudio.com. Okay, on this page, you need to click on the first that is Windows 10 and 11. I'll select this. This is going to start VS Code download automatically. You can see the VS Code application that is also a 64 bit version. Setup is getting downloaded. Okay, so VS Code setup has got downloaded. I'll click on open. Now I'll close the web browser as we don't need it. I'll just minimize this notepad. Okay. So in this setup, you need to first click on I accept the agreement and click on next. Over here, if you want, you can change the default directory. I'll go with the default and click on next. Then click on next. I want it to create a desktop icon. So I'll select create a desktop icon. Also, do check these two boxes. Open with code. Then click on next and click on install. So this may take few seconds to get it installed. All right, so we have completed second step also that is installation of Visual Studio code. OK, I'll just uncheck this. Click on finish. So we have completed with the step one and two. Now we'll look for the step three that is installation of Python plugin in VS Code application. Okay. So for that, you will need to start Visual Studio Code. So once you do a fresh start of this application, it is going to ask you to set up a theme. I'll go with the light theme. And I'll close this window. 
okay this is how the interface of vs code is now click over here this is extensions in extension you need to type python okay you'll see the first link select it over here you need to check it is it is should be from the microsoft click on install once you click install it is going to install the python extension for the vs code it is developed by microsoft.com okay now it is going to give you a page where you can create a python file okay but i'll close this welcome screen i'll also close this extensions okay now our python extension has got installed if you want you can also cross check it in this if you click on extensions you can see over here the status is installed okay I'll just minimize this now to create a python file what you need to do is click on file click on new file okay over here you will get option python file okay you can select it now it is untitled right so i'll click on file and save uh, i'll save this on desktop give it a name as a demo okay i've given it a name demo and you can see it is going to save it as a type file python okay click on save demo.py for python files the file extension is .py now to check if it is working fine i'll type a sample code okay it is just a print command now to execute this code i'll do save this now to execute you can see at this top right corner it's a run button click run python file and see it has executed this python code and you can see the output of it in the terminal just it has printed rishi labs okay you can change this and if i want to rerun i'll run, click on this run button and now see the output has changed rishi labs one two three okay so that's how you can download and install python then you can install vs code once you have installed vs code you need to install the extension of python once you created install the extension then you can create a new python file and you can type your code and do execution of it so that's how it is i'll close the console so we have completed all the three steps if you still have any queries you can write down in the comment section Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel Rishi Labs.